Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time, we had just arrived back at Balefire Beacon. It's time to talk to our good friend Ferrante. Ado, and how is the sea treating you, Watcher? I assisted your allies at Crooksburg. You are quite the asset to my cause, Casita. Please, allow me to invest further in our partnership. I trust you will find this to your liking. We gained an item called Fleet Breaker. The item was put into our stash. We gained 2,500 copper. I require nothing further from you at this time. I will send for you should the need arrive. Wow. He just dismissed us like we were dogs. Uncool, dude. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Uncool. Although we got a ton of experience, so you know what? Maybe not so bad. Uh, let's check our supplies first. We are running low on water type stuff. What can we buy that's water but also gives morale? This is like 23 times, no wait, that's not right, 28 times the price of straight up water. Hmm. We could buy them all mead, but that is really expensive. Maybe we will stop in somewhere else and see if we can buy more food. We already have enough repair and we have a good amount of cannonballs, so we're fine on those things. We're leaving by sea. We do need more watery type things though. Or possibly food type things. We'll take a look. What is our ship stores looking like? We have tons of water. Never mind. We probably even have more fruit. There. We're fine. Now where are we going? We can go to Hasongo. We've already been not there. Ooh, the sea with a shark. We need to kill that person, don't we? I vaguely remember that being a thing we have to do. Come back, I need to shoot your ship until it blows up. Stop trying to go back to my boat. Follow camera off. I need to follow this ship so I don't lose track of it. No, don't go into that fog of war. Stop it. No, don't vanish, I need to kill you. We're almost caught up to it though. Good. There we go. We're 522 away. They're dead ahead. Let's turn to port. They're closing on us. Interesting choice. Oh, damn it. Well. Are you a cannoner? Yeah, kinda. All right, let's give him a broadside. A decent amount of damage, they're gonna fire back. Nope, we're gonna jibe with them though. It takes three turns to jibe, so they're definitely gonna fire at us. They did a fair amount of damage to our ship, but not too much. Oh, they just missed with one, they only have one gun on that side? Well, that's just silly. We are probably going to annihilate their ship. Not quite. Guess we're jabbing again. They're firing back at us. We took a little bit of damage. A little bit of sail damage. Okay. Wonder what grape shot does. That's for killing crew. That kills hull. Or not hull. Um sails. But I think we're just going to cannonball them, because we're... I mean, it's pretty much over. In fact, it is over, for sure. We gained more ranks, we gained some loot. We'll take it all and continue. Now... I wanted to go exploring a little bit. Ooh, Kawaro. Is that another bounty we have? Who knows? Yeah, it is, I think. Oh, don't vanish into the... Come on, chase them down. They also have a junk. Defense, we're 472 away, they're already... 
facing us with their cannons, which is not ideal for us. But they're not firing, which is odd. We're going to hold position to... Now they're firing. But now we're going to fire back. We also have guns. Their ship is flooding, actually. We're jabbing while they're flooding. They need to solve their flooding problem before their ship sinks. We took 13 more damage. They're not flooding anymore. Which is a little bit unfortunate. And we're firing again. They're flooding again, which is nice. We'll just turn to port. And then we'll turn to port again. This should hopefully allow us to fire with a decent amount of hitability. Maybe. Oh yeah, we're fine. Look at that. And we didn't get anything exciting, but we got a bunch of junk. Alright. Now, where are we going? We've done Bacarna's Observatory. There's still more ships around. Like, so many ships. I'm sure we've killed a bunch of bounties already. But there's other things to do, like a corno here. I don't know what that is. Let's give it a shot. We're just doing some exploring in this video. No real quest related stuff. I just want to see what's out in the sea. We took down two ships and now we have a group of bandits, one with an ironclad. These are fairly low level guys, though you can tell by their defenses. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem with them. Hi guys, come fight me. You come this way. That dude just got annihilated though. Poor rogue. Fine, hit the war dog then. War dog's dead. Uh, let's kill this rogue. Set him on fire. I guess we didn't really have to set him on fire. He just straight up died. The Carno's now dead. Oh, all of our skeletons just died. Iron constructs take so many hits to kill. They're so very annoying. And that's that. Just that one fighter left. Two fighters left. Apparently the fighters have a little bit of defense on them. We missed with our soul annihilation, but everything is dead now. What did we get? We got some new unique armor called Flesh Mender. Regrowing. Plus three armor rating. Armor lost when hit. Regenerates. What? Oh, I see. It sort of like repairs itself. I mean, that's kind of neat. I wonder what it can do for its pluses. Can it make it better? Kind of cool leather armor. Where is it regrowing? That one. Hardened buckskin is negative 20% crit, weapon sets, quick item slots, or it can make it legendary, so it can't have more of its I'll take care of it. regeneration capability, which kind of sucks, because that would be neat. And we killed yet another bounty, technically. We're going to be able to turn in like every bounty in the game all at once. I like how you can do the bounties without having the quests for them. Kind of neat. We're going to go up this way. See what's up here in these islands. There's a lot of islands up here. And some sort of burial site. This is a big island, actually. Motaro Kazi. Motaro Kozi? I don't know what that place is, but it looks neat, so we should go there. We got a pry bar. Bronze Hans. A spyglass. Hey, we found a spyglass. Not that we didn't. Not that we needed one anymore. We already. 
bought one, but still. I want to go to that place. I like runes. Runes are neat. We've come to the landing. You disembark on a calm beach. A thick tree line ahead separates you from the deeper jungle. You see evidence that another landing party arrived here before. Booty tracks lead off into the jungle, though it doesn't look like anyone returned this way. Listen? The beach is conspicuously quiet, and it takes you a moment to realize what's missing, the chirp or warble of birds. Then you spot it, a subtle movement in the tree line. You're not alone. I know you're out there, let's talk about this. Several Hawana warriors, decorated with the face paint of the wa oh, Wahaki, calmly emerge from the tree line. A tall warrior separates out from the fold and pauses, giving you a severe look before approaching. Well, this might not go well. I guess they just want to fight. Embedda, Bahaki, Shaman, Brutes, Brutes, Scouts. Somebody just got killed for disengaging too much. The leader just died horribly. I like how Shoji's gone full dark side now. So hockey missive, what does it say? It probably says, Ultimar killed our whole base. Make sure he doesn't survive very long. Oh, it's not even one of those things. Or is it? I'm not seeing it there. We do have a lot of heads. Several heads in our inventory. Um, There it is. Another outlander ship sails for Motar Okozi. That makes three, Embeda. Your warning to the prince only whetted his appetite, as I told you it would. Better that the trespassers die on the beach than meet her ladyship inland. Finish the job this time, or I will find a warrior better suited to your responsibilities. Following the message is an accurate description of your ship. Who knew I was coming here? I didn't even know I was coming here. I think the game is lying to me a little. Where are we off to? Let's go kill some things. This place is already looking kind of grim, so we're gonna quick save. It's flooded and ruined, and there's corrupted tigers and. And whatever that is, Pogras. Yes. Time to kill that thing for sure. I remember those things being really annoying in the first game, but I can't remember why exactly. of minor deflection. Very good, but it's okay, I guess. Oh, I see we can go that way. I was like, how do I even get to that tiger? She is pretty devastating with those blunderbusses. She does a lot of damage. We should stay on her good side. Another Bogra. Something came out from over here. I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, damn it, assassin vines. And a sporling. 
and the rotted lady. Um. Of course. All right, I guess we're going all in. No prisoners. Marker. Oh, she's not that tough. I think we just killed her. There's a lot of assassin finds here, though. Somebody kill that thing. Yes, Captain. It will be so. You have my attention. There's something in there. Narian's Ward. Exceptional, Father's Aegis. Incoming weapon damage is reduced by 10%. Increases as health is lost for 25%. Well, that's fancy. I hope that wasn't this whole ruin, because I kind of want to go inside the ruins. You know? There's clearly a dead person there. With a soul essence. There's a corrupted tiger. Everything. Oh, it didn't die. Now it died. I'll do one more loop of this island before we go anywhere because I didn't have my uh, always look at everything button on. There's definitely some bones there leading into. Well, it might be a cave. Nope, just bones that lead to a bone pile, which has an exceptional pistol in it. There is another spirit over here, so there's at least two spirits in this place, and a jungle lurker, and two jungle lurkers. And a pogra. Yet again. Let's talk to the spirit. This fragment of soul vibrates with a sense of deep worry and hesitation. As you draw closer, it drifts towards you with a sense of blind urgency. You pant with exertion as you flee, crutching an ornate golden ring in both hands. The hip deep water slows your frenzied escape, but you persist with some tattered memory of hope. A pained shriek rings out from the jungle. You turn back distracted and manage to run headlong into a towering form. The creature swivels her attention down to you. She plucks you up with a bony talon as she would a doll. Through the haze of disorientation, you make out her pitted face and milk-white eyes. Cackling, she snatches the golden ring and hangs it on a branch of a tall, gnarled tree. She tells you of the awful fate you'll suffer, feeding her grove, watering her children, but she makes it all sound like an honor you wish you could believe her. The vision disperses in a cloud of pain and confusion, and Jyoti takes the soul. As you wish. What? There's a living person here? How are you alive? Help me! Thorn-covered vines encircled this Valian woman, constricting around her in a deadly embrace. Her speech gets cut short as one of the vines around her midsections tightens its hold, nearly forcing the breath from her lungs. Gritting teeth, she braces against the vines and fight to steal back some breathing room. Fatso! Stinking weed! She regards you with tired, bloodshot eyes. Nature has turned her hand against this woman, 
We must not leave her in the state, Captain. I don't know what you are, stranger, but your kindness goes down smooth. She manages a wan smile towards Takehu. Let's see if we can do something with those vines. Thank you. Only I don't know how we're going to manage it. She strains at the tangled mass of vegetation. Takehu, anything you can do? Akira, a simple matter of denying these vines their beloved water. Takehu strucks his chin and smirks at the challenge. He squats down and runs his hands along the vine, closing his eyes. A sickly black humor pools at your feet as the vegetation expels the last of the rancid liquid that sustained it. What is left behind relaxes its hold on ba or Baltia and diminishes. Not my finest work, but it is done. He winks at Baltia and helps her up. I... I think that did it. Agrasima. She struggles to her feet with a pained groan, massaging aches all over her body. Our ship landed on the other side of the island, but... I am the last of the crew, and I cannot sail her alone. May I join your voyage? I do not care where we make port, as long as it is far from here. Sure. Ak, Casita. I will see you on board. Snapping a sharp salute, Baltia manages a pained but genuine grin. Makes me regret all those times I told Kana to eat his vegetables. Afraid not, Captain. This lingering soul drifts in a lazy, hypnotic fashion. It does not seem to know or care that its life has been extinguished. That golden wheel weighed as much as Aethys's thumb, but you weren't leaving without a souvenir, something to put a smile on Director Castell's face. Then your boots crunched a soft femur in half, and you remembered, wasn't this island supposed to be abandoned? Maybe you didn't beat the Juana expedition in getting here. Suddenly the gold felt like dead weight. You rolled it into a cave for safekeeping, but you didn't make it ten paces towards the beach before something big, all crooked limbs and fetid breath, plucked you off your feet. When she squeezed you like a dish rag over a patch of thirsty vines, you bled out so fast you forgot to scream. Jody steals that soul as well. Damn it, Jody, stop stealing all the souls. Well, this is a whole lot fancier than what we've seen. Who do you suppose lived here? And when? The soul flits about in a hasty panic bursts. It eases closer to you with each with anticipation. They laughed at your hours studying the runic script of the ancient Hawana, but here you are, poring over gold inscriptions while they scratch their heads. You promised yourself a good boast on the journey back to Nekataka. No one believes the Hawana could have forged a device like this golden wheel, but you stay silent on the matter. The Anguithans built more milk more for function than beauty, and this is art. Rotating the control disc and pressing panels had you so engrossed that you mistakenly entered the wrong combination. A slit opened in the disc discharging a gas that brought you to your knees, coughing loud enough to summon a creature whose shape you could barely perceive through the haze of pain. Boasting would have to wait. Emitting a palpable feeling of relief, the essence drifts into Jyoti's lantern. Do we know the combo? Hmm... Let's read the main inscription. To all wayward kin, far from family shores, let this chart point the way home, that your tribe may welcome you open-armed. Engravings remember what the dead forget. Take comfort in the sanctuary, read his teachings, and let knowledge guide the hand that turns the wheels. Let's look for a pattern. You can vaguely see how different points of the engraving seem to match up, forming a coherent shape in spite of being situated on opposing sides of the carving. Let's slide the wheels into place. The rings settle into place, fitting neatly around their central axis. The outer ring is inscribed with passages in the Hoana runic language. Oh, we had the rings. Four symbols decorate the inner wheel. They show pillars of luminous Audra, the native quickie fruit, and a depiction of the Hoana watershipping art. Oh, and a, lo a lovingly engraved island, sorry. The way these two inscriptions align suggests a relationship between the two. Something about the island catches your attention. The runes surrounding it are particularly elaborate, and every measurement uses it as a point of origin. It's Uzai Ukaizo. Akira, are we both seeing this? Takehu brings a shaking hand up to wipe his mouth. A set of dots on the inscribed panels over the outer ring suggest that it should be rotated in a sequence, starting from one and ending in four. Let's rotate it. The first inscription reads, Though their roots grew from Rikuhu's lightless bowels, their yield is a welcome reprieve. It's gonna go... The Audra? You spin the, loop, the wheels until the inscription aligns with the luminous Audra. The way the control panel sits atop the disc suggests that you could push this configuration down. Sure. You press your weight on the panel. Deep inside the disc, you hear the rotation of heavy parts. The gold rings spring back up, ready to be spun again. Those petrified limbs are the health and safety of the dead fire. A 
That's a good question. I don't even know. Well, we can just kind of wing it and hope for the best. Let's go quickie fruit. Nagati gifted her children, her chosen people, a dominion over her dark and turbulent kingdom. That's Ukaizo. And our origin, our destination, our home. Wherever we go, she is the horizon. Oh. Go back, start from the beginning. First configuration. The, the roots grow from Rakuhu's lightless bells. That's death, right? Yes. Maybe this one's squeaky fruit. Okay. Let's press that down. Those petrified limbs are the health and safety of the dead fire. Maybe that's water shaping? Dark and turbulent kingdom. I think that's Ukaizo. And then our origin, our destination, our home, wherever we go, she is the horizon. Let's try the Adra. Faster than you can react, a noxious gas bills out from the hairline fracture in the middle, burning your eyes and causing you to reel back. We were injured. Alright. We gotta do this again. Okay. Though the roots grow from Rakuhu's lightless bowels, their yield is a welcome reprieve. I think that might be the Loomis Audra. Okay. Our covenant to safeguard. No, I think that one's Atrophillers. Okay. The first one I think is Kawiki Fruit. Second one is Audra. Water shaping. Nagati's the water person, and then Ukaizo. The emerging image is not exactly a map, but an index of islands and coordinates organized in relation to each other. You recognize several of the sighted locations as containing nothing but open water. Charting a path by this obsolete system would be impossible. The word Ukaizo stands out from the other named islands. You take a rubbing of the disc in its completed form. Judging by your surroundings, this coordinate, your system, has gone untouched for millennia. Your findings may be of interest to somebody. We got the chart. Let's destroy the disc. You find heavy rock and hoist it above the disc, smashing the rotational mechanism would guarantee that the navigational secret remains yours alone. No, Takehu cries and places his body between you and the disc. After all of this artifact has endured, do not let our coming be its death sentence. This knowledge is dangerous in the wrong hands. And the right hands are the ones bent on destroying art, Akira. Takehu gives you a look of utter bewilderment. You know my heart on this matter, Captain. Takehu turns away and covers his mouth, unable to or unwilling to watch. We'll leave, we won't destroy it. Takei's our friend, we won't kill his dream. Or whatever. Let's go back to the rotted lady's place. Let's see if we missed anything. We'll do a quick loop back this way, just to make sure we didn't miss things. We did miss something. Don't mention it. A wooden figure, a wooden spider figure. We got that tree. Nothing down here. Oh, there's a cat. We missed the cat. We found little Babs. We looted all of this. I think we got all this stuff too. I think we're almost ready to go. Oops. We'll just quickly check this area here and then we'll get out of here. And just in time, we're almost out of time on our video as well. I like how Ishizi can fly because it makes our scouting way faster. I think we're done. Let's leave.
All right, another island explored and conquered. Little Babs, we have so many pets. There are just a lot of pets in this game. Like a worryingly large amount of abandoned animals. Makes me feel bad. We'll finish up this island really quickly by going to the burial site. What's Blightheart? We found something cool. It is a living wood bindable item. What is it though? Is it it's an archibus? Oh, interesting. Chanter Ranger Wizard. I think our Chanter is about to get a brand new gun. Let's keep searching. Book of Protection, Hunting Bow, Baby Pearl. Scepter, nothing else. But a bindable item, that is a cool find. What are we using currently? That really nice Frost Seeker bow, right? Well, time for something new for you. You're gonna get a new Archibus. Bind your soul to it. All right, we need to apply 30 Dexterity Afflictions. Does that, does this do it on its own? Corrodam, hobbles, hobbles in the Dexterity thing. So I think this does that. Its accuracy is so nice. 77. That's pretty good. Except that this gun is slightly more inaccurate than normal. And it's really crappy in melee, and it doesn't do as much crit damage. Which is fine. Excellent, we found a new bound item. I guess that's going to be it for our video then. We have finished this little island, we have more to explore in the next video, but we'll leave that for next time. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below, otherwise I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.